Josh, have you ever bought an NFT? No, I have never bought an <laughs> NFT. Okay, well, you know, you might have messed yourself up because NFTs are becoming worth something potentially. So you're saying I should have gotten a monkey. <laughs> Maybe not a monkey, but you might have been made out big if you bought a Hyundai Santa Fe pickup truck NFT. That is cr that is a crazy sentence, by the way. Mm -hmm. So so what we're talking about is that Hyundai originally made a or released a line of NFTs uh, at CS 2022 mm -hmm. and they released it where they now are going to potentially give back a real truck. Okay. So a yeah. physical truck. So if you had one, if they actually were one of supposedly 10 people who bought this NFT, you have a chance mm -hmm. to get a real car. To get a real car. Right and uh, to explain a little bit to the listeners in case they might have missed the NFTs and the monkeys pictures and everything like that. NFTs are... This one also has yeah. a monkey. It has a monkey too? Oh my god. Yeah, so the NFT is a... It's not actually a truck. I, I lied. So they call it the Meta Mobility Universe. That's crazy. That's even even crazier sentence. Yeah. I, I was going to say NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Mm -hmm. If you ever played a video game, this is the most simplest way that I could explain it. Um, there's probably someone that could probably explain it better in the comments or somewhere else. But NFTs are simply like, you could think of it as a one-to-one -one item that's digital. Um, think of it like you buy a unique skin in CSGO. Some armor. Or some armor, yeah, things like that. Um, so that's I like... CSGO was the, the best one because it actually makes sense. And yeah. It doesn't make sense in terms of valuation, but it, in terms of like unique skins that can be like... Traded, like yeah. Like knife skins that can be traded amongst players. Mm -hmm. It is a one-to-one -one thing. So... We'll tell you more on how you could potentially redeem this NFT after considering that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We come with interesting topics like this one all the time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to learn more. So I saw this because they, I don't understand why they put it on here because there's only 10 that were ever um, I guess, minted. minted yeah. yeah. So there's only 10 of these things floating around there. And I don't know why they're doing Basically, like it's marketing, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I saw it on Instagram. They were sending me this thing. It's like, oh, if you have this, this Hyundai <laughs> NFT, you can make NFTs worth something. And so, it's, so if you have one, you can go to a website and it um, basically. Um, so what do you get? I guess the car. You get the actual car. So you have a okay. one in ten chance. So it says. Um, there's a Hyundai NFT trade in submission form in 2021. We gave away. 10 unique Hyundai Santa Fe Cruze. Okay, I guess I was right. NFTs during the Santa Fe Santa Cruz Adventure Kit NFT promotion. Think you have one of those of the original yeah. NFTs. So keep reading. That's so the, crazy. Yeah, the first the first eligible Hyundai Santa Fe Santa Fe Santa Cruz NFT owner to submit a valid claim has a chance to trade in that NFT for a real truck. You think about it though. The NFT currently is worth as much as this car. Or 10% since it's like a ten, 1 in 10 chance. Yeah. So, I mean, or so, 1. So, one you, one. yeah. So, you could sell this NFT. Oh, to someone else? To yeah. someone else and be like, hey, you have a 1 in 10 chance if you buy this NFT to win this car. I guess. Or you could just go, well, I guess. Because you don't want to pay the taxes on the car. <laughs> I guess, but then you have a car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but then you have, you have a car. The entire car. So instead of paying, I mean, anyways. But I think you still have make it out more instead of by paying taxes on the the truck versus. I wonder how that works though. That that actually is true. Cause you're, it, you're trading it as in like they're considering you have value, and then it's this one for one swap. I'm not. I'm not sure how. I'm pretty that, sure they're probably. I'm pretty sure they might want to still take taxes on it, the way, the way, um, the U.S. taxes everything. That's the only reason why. But someone in the comments could correct me if that's true or not. But that's what I think that might happen. But currently, this NFT is worth almost as much as this car, or I, I say one in ten, with ten percent of the the value of this car. Oh, you think so? That's what I think. Would you? 
like it, who would have known that having one of these would potentially get you a car that is true you, you wouldn't have known you wanted the digital car mm -hmm. because oh, that's how they roll so i'm looking at the official rules of this so they're saying that the vehicle one offer is available in this promotion so basically the first person to to submit their NFT gets it. And then they get a choice of one of the following. Either you do a vehicle trade-in option, which is a 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz limited with all-wheel all drive and basically all other stuff. And it's $42,500 vehicle. MSRP. Yeah. MSRP. Or you could get $20,000 US in the form of check. Um, what would you take? If you won this, what would you take? Mm. I take the cash because it'd be hard to because it'd be hard to sell the car. <laughs> I take the car. You take the car. Then, then you, you sell, the, like sell the car. Yeah. yeah, you probably would get like thirty thousand, but you still would have to pay taxes on it. I'm assuming. Yeah, all federal, state, and local income taxes and any other costs and expenses associated with the receipt or use of any offer are the sole responsibility of the offer recipient. Yeah, they're, they're not mm. they're not Mr. Beast. They're not paying the taxes on this. That's true. That is interesting. Yeah, I guess they'd be paying quite a bit in terms of... Uh, well, they go to Oregon. They claim it in Oregon. No, oh, they claim it in Oregon? They oh, yeah. In Oregon, then they're and then they drive it. Then they drive it back. Drive okay, it. that's the that's the strat right there. Let's uh, change their address to the Oregon, claim it, and then... Does this make you think differently in, on NFTs? No. <laughs> no. Okay, are you for or against NFTs? You have to, I don't know. You can't be in the middle. <laughs> I mean, you can, but... I think in terms of digital... I feel like NFTs have technically existed and, like for a while. Mm -hmm. Like, since RuneScape. <laughs> since RuneScape? So I can imagine, yeah. Because well, you're, imagine. like, trading, like... You can trade trading items. Accounts. Like, if you place a value on the account or the mm -hmm. items and stuff, like, physical... Because, like, people are making money off the digital currency like that is I think, true i think one south american country was their currency was so low to the point where it was better to go and like play runescape and mine all the or runescape or, or wow and get the coins mm. and then trade all the coins for for actual money for actual money yeah so I, it's like I that's, will... that's the level. Is that not an NFT of? Well, that's technically not an NFT, but it is digital currency, digital assets that are worth something, which yeah. is somewhat like an NFT. NFTs are supposed to be more secure than that, but then you need to get RuneScape yeah. dollars <laughs> or gold coins. But Can, would you RuneScape gold cannot... coins are worth more than most NFTs? Really? Well, oh, yeah, it, you're right. You know, people played it. You're right, <laughs> actually. Game. People I, it's an incentive to, to have this. So, like, I, I, will makes more sense. I will say that I have paid money for RuneScape. Not for RuneScape, for Maple Story, oh, Mes Mesos. For Mesos or yeah, Mesos? Yeah. The dark that's Times. Whole, that's a whole scheme, too. That's the Dark Times right there. Dark Times? Yeah, I know people who have, uh, what is it, bought like the, what is you know it? What? Animal Crossing money, too. Oh, yeah. But I feel like, like for Maple Story, those are also just like, NFTs mm. or digital things because like there's limited time offers and yeah you to, oh yeah you that's to, true. Like, oh you know if you're especially like the older items mm -hmm. there's some that are like so old that like and they never re-release it that's true so then like you have you, to be there you could also sell them for actual yeah, money for, well yeah. you could sell them for a digital currency or you can like have do um, transaction yeah transaction offline, offline and then yeah. trade in in game that's crazy everything's going digital. I mean, not, except not for the really. Monkey, except for the monkeys. I feel like the thing is that there was never a place to use NFTs. Like, there was no, like, a lot of times people were, like, like, there, from the there was supposed to be, like, a game associated with it. And then, oh, they yeah, a yeah. Game, and now there's a lawsuit because all that stuff is worthless. The cri oh, Crypto Zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah crypto, crypto Zoo from Logan Paul. Yeah, my bad. Not, not Meta Zoo. Meta Zoo no, is like no, a card no. game. Yeah. A card, trading card game. But yeah, yeah. Crypto, crypto Zoo. zoo. Yeah, crypto, crypto Zoo. zoo. Yeah. Oops. No, no, no. It's a, uh, what is it? Yeah, he's, CopyZilla really went into Logan Paul with that no. one too. Yeah, because he, <laughs> well, he hasn't means... paid him out. He hasn't paid him out. I think he's suing him. Yeah, he's suing CopyZilla. Yeah. So, back to this. Um, I think it's cool that they're basically um making their nft somewhat worth or something 
Because, like, that, that's kind of an interesting way to... Because, I mean, you know, if you just gave away NFT and it's like, well, sucks to suck. But now it's like, at least something's going on here. Let me tell you, you put a monkey in that truck, it's a, value goes up 10 yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> 10 times, yeah. Put them on a yacht that says hunting. <laughs> oh, my God. That would go kind of hard. Yeah. All right. Well... Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this is a good thing, bad thing, indifferent thing? I'm like, I don't know. It's it, I feel like they should give something to everybody. Like the first person yeah. to turn in, like get something, and then the second people person, yeah, get like five thousand dollars. I don't know, like something, because I'm pretty sure they didn't buy it for cheap. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.